So I'm going to run you down uh, my whole list here. I have a brand new shifter with the internal cable and everything. What we have right here, this white cable with the printed little connector, that's uh, for the flight deck, the flight deck uh, indicator. It's a computer that comes with these from back in the day. Uh, they're pretty much irrelevant. I'm actually just going to cut this off. It's up to you if you want to route it back through the shifter. Oops. This old one actually does have it. As you can see here, the old one's all folded up in here and it runs through down inside. I believe inside here, if you take the this entire grip off, I believe there's a, a spot for it to connect. But like I said, I'm not gonna do that, so uh, just be really careful if you are or if you do have a flight deck shifter, or this is a restoration project for you and you do have that and you wanted to keep it, uh, just be wary of the small cable. So, uh, what we're working with today, like I said, our new shifter, we have an old one. It's incredibly hard to find these in good condition. So for almost the cost of this nose piece that's in, in Brand new, as you can see, this entire shifter's new. I could just get the whole new shifter, and this one doesn't have one. When these don't have the shifters, they look really weird and broken. So I figured I'd just show you how to swap them completely out. So uh, you do need something small here, some sort of punch. I have a table vise here. If you don't have a table vise, you can use a socket. And what we're going to have to do, we're going to punch this little silver spot you'll see on the other side of the shifter right here. It's right there. This one I colored green so I remember which way it goes in. Just stuck it with a dab of colored marker. So I could just wipe it right off later with alcohol. And we're going to punch that through. Actually I'm going to go through the other way to make sure I don't mark my marker off and I remember which way it goes in. And what you want to do is have a way for so when you set this down, you want to have a big enough socket that the hole will support the shifter. And if you do use that, put a rag around it like I have on my vise here. And that's pretty much it. The first step to actually getting this all apart, there's a Allen screw in the very bottom of your shifter there. It's a two millimeter. You do want to go ahead and remove that. set them into each other and stick that aside. The next step, we try to make sure, like I said, you don't want to mark this side so you want to face it down. And then we tap this piece out. Just try to make sure you support the shifter the best you can. And right here is why we marked this side green. So we remember which way it goes. This is actually not central. It's not centric to the middle. So it has to, if it goes in backwards, the spring is not going to get right pressure. It's not going to close well. You're going to run into a nightmare of problems. Now doing this project around the house, you might run into an issue. Uh, just using whatever you could find like I am. This went great till about halfway and it won't go any further. So the next step is just take your rag back. Wrap it real nice. You don't want to put any uh, any marks on that, so it'll slide back in. It'll press back in easy. Just slowly rotate it and pull it out. Hold this part in real good with your finger, the silver part of the lever, because there's a spring right in here. And once you let this out, it's going to try to separate. And you don't want to lose that spring or the position it's in. Okay, so as you slowly open it, I'd recommend using this side up. And you'll see the spring is perched right up on there. It can come right off, 
but it is clocked in a position that it needs to stay on so I'm going to actually just leave it there so I can flip it over and change it. And we're going to cut this and take this whole shifter body out. Okay, actually I just ended up just pulling this apart. Okay, so if you do look, there are some adapter pieces. One which is spring is perched on right in here too. So you do need to swap those over very carefully. I would do the spring one last if I were you so you can take note of the position. If you look closely here, you might want to drop this down on a piece of paper. Now's the time if you're going to pull this cable out to pull it out. Also be careful of this little brake barrel. They can pop out if you're not, you know, you put your fingers on them. They'll push right out. So just be gentle there. And when you do pull that out, you will have this little dust cover fall right in your hand. Just pop it right back into place. If you're worried about the position of the shifter, you can see this is the way it was. You want to remember on the left side here, you have a hole that the spring falls into and that's where it sits flat. So we're going to go ahead and take that out, remember that position, and pull out these little sleeves and swap them over. For this I'm just going to use some old junky scissors just to try to slip underneath this plastic collar here. Uh, I don't want to damage it with a screwdriver or anything, I think it'll just pop right out. Probably best to do that over a table, it just pops right out though. So just press that one into that side. And now we'll remember this is the side of the spring. So we set the spring down the way it comes upside up. And we have this piece, you don't even really need anything, you could just use whatever you got to push it out through the other side. This is the longer side for the spring. As you could hear, that's a satisfying click. You know it's in the right side, the right hole. You want to hook this side in first and then lift up the back side right here to slide it on top. And there you go. So now that we got all of this together with the spring, we're going to take this lever sticking out right here, right there. We're going to make it fall on this shelf that we spoke about earlier, this little ending piece. And if you just stick it together, it's actually going to miss it. So you have to try to make sure to get it get it in there real good. There we go, we could actually see it there. And you can see it's starting to get a little pressure on the spring. And there you go, you could actually, we're getting lined up. And you could see, you can see the springs on its little perch on the ledge right here. And this will make sure you have brake pressure. Because what happens is if you just push these two pieces together, like I was showing you, you just don't really line it up and you don't get it on that shelf, on the shelf right here. It, the brake is just going to flop around. It's just going to be super floppy, like there's nothing there, like the spring's broken. And so from here, hold this good and tight because you still have spring pressure just like when it came apart. Put it on your vice piece. So holding it together, we get ready to press it in. We're going to start with a hammer. Oops, that's the green side. Start with a hammer and finish with uh, the chisel. Just be careful not to hit your new stuff or your shifter if it's in good condition. You want to get in there with just a little bit of a lip. Our shifter is green on the outside like it was before. Wiped a little off with the rag on accident. There you go. We went from this to this. Much nicer. Alright, so now that you're a master shifter rebuilder, not really, just swapper, whatever. The one thing I did want to point out, when you open this shifter up, I already started to pull it out a bit ago, 
but there is a little bit more of that. You want to get some needle nose pliers. And you want to make sure to just pull out of the shifter hole. You don't want that clogging up your shifter later. And there will be a couple wires here. Just pull those out with a, a actual good set of pliers. And you can see there's still a little bit left there. You want to just get it all the way out. Alright, so there's a whole slew of stuff we got pulled out here. Little bits all over. What I did, I ended up going on the inside here. You're going to have a little bit of extra pieces right here. And I just got some cheapy needle nose pliers that could get way into the back of there where the shift cable sits on its little circular posts there. To the left of that, there's the wall. So right in this back area, it's hard to see. But right. Right against that back wall, you can see a little scraped up there for me trying to get it with the pliers, but yep. And what we want to basically do is make sure that this will retract without hitting anything, and that's why you want it to get out of the way. And that's it, you're all done. Cool new shifter. Looks great. Saves a couple bucks. Keeps your good stuff running forever. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, it really helps my small channel grow, I appreciate it, thanks.